Yeah, two to go. Easy. Pretty, pretty I straightforward. Think it is Taito and Q next. Oh, okay. Let's go. Wait. I should remember yeah. what these are. Taito Q, yeah. Oh, Taito we gotta change the. You know, Spios. Yeah, Fanta Fromage. I am Fanta Fromage indeed. Uh, and what's your, what's your Twitter again? It's like. Uh, Fanta Fromage. Oh, it is Fanta yeah. Fromage. Yeah, cool, cool. What up? I gotta play my game. Sick. And Ghost is back. I'm back. Yeah. They they tried to take me from from the stream. They tried, but yeah, you really they wanted can't stop to commentate me. that. Yeah, I really just wanted to come and commentate. <laughs> um, let's so, got so here we go. Taichu and Q. That's like a, that should be interesting. Uh, do you know who Q is playing today? No. Does anybody? D nobody. Like Does Q know? I think he I, picks. I'm not sure. Before. I think he like decides right before the game starts. Surely He's like, does. you know, I th really think, I really think my Kirby's gonna do it today. <laughs> and then he picks Bowser Jr. instead. Yeah. You know, like that's just that. That's just that's how just the brain cute. works. Anything can happen. Yeah. We're gonna Battlefield game one. Don't know if that means anything. What characters are good on Battlefield? Kirby. Yeah, I, I, there we go. And there's the Kirby. Kirby. Greninja. Let's go. He's right. been seeing a uh, Sim Kirby do it, put, put in some work. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think Kirby has only lost on stream so uh, far. What's the yeah, just go play in game. That's good. That'll be good. Sick. Right, it's all set up. Excellent. It is. So, Kirby Kirby is obviously not very great. <laughs> in the, against characters, especially that are like got good mobility and wall you out. Definitely pretty hard. But, you know, if you get trips, that helps. Yeah, he's, he's got some good things. Yeah. So, like, Taito, like, missed the tech, but if you just roll away, Kirby can never hit you, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> he just doesn't have this. Exactly. And now he's getting comboed. And Kirby's off stage, not amazing. Really slow as sweep. Alright. Managed to get to ledge. No trip on that down tilt from Kirby. Oh, there we go. Chases the roll away, gets enough of that. That, actually move, that move's actually really strong. It is, yeah. It's surprisingly strong. And you're gonna die wow. because you've jumped out of down tilt. And Kirby can't go anywhere. So you jump out, but you don't actually go anywhere. <laughs> That's gonna be a combination of 41%. Sick. That's a solid 40%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're trying to we're trying to give the Greninja. We'll see how happens. Just this crusty gap Alright. Taito rolls in that time. I think he rolled out last time and Q read that, but I don't know. How many jumps have we got? <laughs> we've, we've managed to make it. Nice. Just about. Ah, the Nair sends him the wrong way, but it still kills. Yeah, I think he got mixed up by, by this. Yeah, he might have been DIing um, to the yeah. right. I think so. Yeah. That's a nice decent throw combo. We got 36%. Yeah, that's. All oh, parries into. Okay. Down to not tripping, but like still hits uh, Taicho through the spot dodge with that dash yeah. deck. That, that, that move has a lot of active frames, obviously. Oh, it's insane. Fair. Fred, you're it's insane. <laughs> Catches the, the one frame on the regular getup with the full air. Alright, where are we going? We're dodging into the up smash. I'm lucky. <laughs> not, not where you want to be. Alright. Got him trapped at ledge? Yep. Alright. Just out. Yeah, yeah he whiff punishes the landing there from Taicho with uh, Kirby S smash. Not bad. Ooh. Pretty good option. Oh. Here we go, another combo. Oh, tried to get like land on a platform. Something, something going on there, but did he try or did he get mixed up by you? He he he, he put it in up air, so I assume he was going for like some platform combo. Because yeah. forward air would be the normal, yeah, normal choice. Helpless dies. Could die very soon. Yep, standard combo. Doesn't manage to get any extension from it though. Oh, brave dash tag. Could have just run straight into the border. That was a weird hunter. Yeah. Look, it would have killed. Oh, no. He kept. Yeah, that, that's, that's a scary but nah. That's Kirby's recovery. Has no... I don't know. It's just so easy to hit hit, hit Kirby out of up B. Like that, apparently. It doesn't snap to ledge either. So it's not like he can, like, avoid yeah. that down smash if Brad times it right. It's kind of like, yeah, a faster crumb. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it has a it has the swing on the way up, obviously. But yeah, 
corner. So Brad goes up to 1 0. Yep. This is still best at 3. Like, are we going to get a switch? What, switch to what? Could be anything. Could be Dr. Mario. Could be Bowser Jr. Mario. It's Lucario. We got Lucario. Pokemon. Pokemon I've Pokemon. never seen him play a new card. Really? He, he, does, he does play a little Lucario. Oh, yeah, true. We're back to Battlefield 2. I guess the big blossoms is going to help Lucario. Hopefully. I guess, yeah. But the scary part is, like, Greninja has, like, really good kill confirms. So that's, like, what you don't want is Lucario. True. Don't want to have to fight against. He's feeling it today, though. I don't know why, but... Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can have him. Yeah, don't worry. So there's a lot, they're going to be like, you know, kind of slapping each other for a while, but really this matchup was going to start to take off when both characters are at kill percent, and then the first person to get the kill will have a, real, will have a pretty big lead, because yeah. either you've got, Lucar you've got Lucario with Aura that can just like do a lot of damage on your next stop, um, or you've got Lucario with no Aura that really can't like do much to Greninja even when he's at like 100 or so. Yeah, definitely. So like, we got the percents. Uh, he's got a little bit of a lead, but it really doesn't matter too much until someone dies. I tried to run up, like run off the lead. Yeah. Work. And there we go. Nice. Parry is the side B, kind of obvious timing from Pietro, I guess, and then runs off down it. It's a really nice, really nice. Yeah, uh, he did play twice. Parry solid lead for Q because uh, he's still. In, well, I guess sort of maybe he's in kill range now, but um, if he can avoid, if he can avoid any of the kills, he can rack up a lot of damage on Pietro. This, the aura. He's popping up. Yeah. Oh, okay. we got the down to our smash, and now the game's even again. Okay, that's that's back to you. Yeah. yeah, that's the struggle with Lucario. Is Greninja's gonna he's yeah. gonna find these kills like really not necessarily easily, but just consistently. Yeah, gonna find the kills. You're not you're not gonna really be living to 170. Um, no, definitely. He's gonna have it down to him and get the kill. Yeah. So it's I guess it's hard to really build up a big lead as Lucario on this matchup. Really, like. Like I really likes to get like a, a ton of aura, yeah. take one stock, and then like take your next stock really early, and then like just kind of see out the game that way. But if, you, if you're not reliably living five percent, then that kind of doesn't work too well. Narrowly avoids the F smash. Okay, he's gonna charge a big, big aura sphere. Gets a nice parry. Oh, platform chase with an up smash. Some good damage. We and brought it back from like I think I think Potato was at like twenty, and now he's now he's at one hundred. Yeah, it's even again. It's yeah. even like. Probably in Lucario's favorite for now. Yeah. If he gets the kill, it's huge. I don't know if Aurisphere will start killing yet. That's like the big question. Once you once you have to be scared of Aurisphere killing, then it, yeah, that mm -hmm. all it gets it sneaks jumps the up yeah, 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 yeah. I fell into that halfway through, and now again, kind of Brad gets to build up a lead um, without much. Well, no, again, like now Brad gets to build up a lead. He's not truly in kill threat aside from like more F smashes or maybe a back end at a ledge. Yeah. Yeah, nice chase. Down it? It will do it. Alright. 58% lead for Brad. Mm -hmm. These are some good chase chases by Q. Yeah. It's racking up a lot of damage. Or pulls out, like breaks the uh, breaks the string of the down air. Oh, uh. this is scary. All right, yeah. The guys are down to it away, so he's going to end up on the top platform. Brad can't really chase from the middle platform. Uh, I don't know if he like wants to S smash or like tried to run up. It's a good off. space for Q. He had he had Brad on the ledge. Brad manages to sort of find a way through, but it's still going to end up back on the ledge against this gigantic aura sphere. Q tries to call out a jump of the down air there, but um, I think Brad like rolled from ledge or something. That was close to. We're seeing a lot of like running and rolls. Brad's really feeding for a down tilt, and also has to find his way around uh, these back airs and aura spheres. Gets the third. Okay. Just goes for an F smash, but that will get punished and give Q stage control. That was a good side yeah, I think he wanted to go the other way, <laughs> or maybe reverse aura sphere or something. Uh, He's got him. You only need to sneak a one in. You can spend the whole game uh, avoiding those aura spheres, man. He sneaks the one in. I don't even know if that was fully charged. It probably was, but killed. Yeah, close and fully anyway. Yeah. And yeah, just killed. It was.
Uh, one, one. Right. Yeah, if you're you can avoid Orsters as long as you want, but if you're not actually getting the kill on the carrier, he's just gonna he's just gonna build up another one and keep throwing them at you, and eventually you'll jump into one. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Satchel was scared, so he like didn't. He just like fished for for down for it, down tilts and didn't manage to fished for uh, fished for four days and down tilts, and yeah, didn't manage to get the killing blow. Um, until and, he got and then eventually Q read his aerial movement. Like yeah. he was like, "Oh, you're gonna be here." I'm gonna throw the Aura Sphere, and Brad I think fell into it. Again, we're gonna have like a little. They're gonna slap each other for a little while, and then and then like we'll see who's really coming out ahead. The town pick as well, which is kind of interesting, um, because it has a obviously. Oh, I guess say it's similar ceiling to Battlefield, but um, wow, Ooh, that kills super. Actually, early. there we go. There's the town pick. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> he, exactly he just killed him off the side with back here at like 70. That's uh, that's town for you. I was gonna say town's interesting because usually Greninja likes to kill off the top. Um, obviously, a long stage is pretty nice for Greninja's like sort of uh, game plan, but Lucario similarly the less space like. A flat stage makes it kind of easier for him to like uh, hone Aura Spheres in on you. Um, but if you can kill him off the side really early using Town's close side blast zones, then yeah. that's going to work out in your favor. Which isn't what I'd normally expect from Greninja, but Ninja, if, it, 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 it's, if it what happens, what happens, then it could be. Gives uh, Brad a very solid lead. Parries, but no punish. Safe on parry. Yeah. He caught him! That's Town of City 2. Yeah, that is. That's very true. I think he caught the beginning of Brad's side B with a side B. I don't know if that was in, in, in the simple from Brad either. Like side B was would have been a weird option to go for anyway. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of damage, or not apparently. Oh, rolls into that one. It's gonna get Orsi grabs. Kind of swinging, see if one of them can get like a really strong, strong hit on the other one. Nice pivot grab. But that, that grab's so useful. The Greninja pivot grab's so useful at ledge because it covers like roll in, get up attack, and just like regular get up. Yeah. And then Q, I think, uh, kind of misspaces an upbeat, ends up on yeah. stage next to Brad rather than at the ledge, and that's going to be an F smash to take the stuff. Yeah, F smash or down, down smash. smash. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Either way. Either way, to the stock. Yeah. Now in a similar position to what we had in the first stock, where Brad had like a. Close to a full stock lead, but then Q like managed to play really well and really keep the lead from like getting out of hand. Going for the side B's again as well. And that was a bit of a yellow log smash, I'm not sure what that was. Parry back air. That would have killed if it hit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, he's chasing him. He's like... He's really trying to ch uh, chase Brad's rolls around the stage, but maybe Lucario just a teeny bit too slow to catch some of them with like a strong smash attack. Oh, Brad, playing around that back here really well. Just runs underneath the carrier, and that'll be it. Easy down to the smash. For the 2-1. Two, 2-1 two one. Two one Taito. Classic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, see who's up next. I don't know, yeah. How are you going to steal stealing winners waiting? I'm in winner's semis now. I'm playing against the winner of Jacko and someone. Okay. I'm not sure who okay. his opponent will be. Uh... He's playing spicy at the moment. I don't know if he. Is. Maybe that. Maybe it's the winner of Jack. Yeah, spicy. I think it is.